Hi, it's Heather here. And Lydia, your teacher friends here with another engineering activity for you, exploring how engineers protect, keep us safe and protect us from ourselves. Heather, would you like to introduce the reason why all these Barbies are on the table? Well, let's have a look at the materials that we'll need for this activity first. All right, and Barbies are all joining us today because we're gonna be doing some bungee jumping. Wow, I couldn't think of a better reason to get engineers involved. It doesn't sound very safe. What should we do with this? Well, part of the job of the engineers with bungee jumping is to make sure that people are safe. But when Barbie goes bungee jumping, she wants to also have fun, to be excited. So we've got to think about that balance there today. Is that right, Barbie? Yes. Okay. She's ready, she's ready. Okay. Uh, with the bungee jumping though, Barbie is not going to use a cord like a bungee cord that you or I would use. Right. Something like that. Something like this. But I wonder what's inside this that has been engineered to keep us safe. I think we should cut it. You think? Yeah. You think? Okay. Yeah, mine looks like a hundred rubber bands in there. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's it. That's what mine looks like too. Well, luckily Barbie is much smaller than us. <laughs> she won't need all of this to bungee jump. She's just going to use rubber bands. And so our challenge for you and the students today mm. is how many rubber bands does it take to give Barbie a safe but exciting bungee jump? So we'll be attaching the rubber bands to Barbie's ankles, and then we'll be finding somewhere for her to have a jump from. To give her a fright? Enough to give her a fright. I think she's gonna have to jump without her glasses. Okay, so enough to give her a fright, but to keep she's her safe. She's gotta be safe. She's, okay, gotta, be she's safe. gotta be safe. So how do we do this? All Should right. I hold on to the Barbie? Would thing? you like to hold Barbie? We're gonna loop it around, around one leg, and around the other leg. And we're just gonna do a bit of twisting and looping till we get that there. And then it helps. It helps if we grab it and pull it from underneath so that we have a bit sitting up the top here. Once we've got this little loop here, then that's where we can start to add on our first rubber band. If you hold it that way, I'm gonna put the next rubber band through there, put it back through itself, and pull it up. Wonderful. And how's she going? Is she a bit bouncy? Oh, she's getting there. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at the joy on her face. More. <laughs> she's asking more. for more. She's, she's asking, asking for, for more. more. Well, it depends what height that we're that Barbie's gonna jump from. If we're just jumping inside, maybe we wanna just see how she goes with one. Mm. But I don't think we are just gonna jump. Just no, inside. I think let's go big. We can add one more, just so you can see how it's done. Okay. So we put the elastic band through there, loop it back through itself, and holding it up. See? I'm getting excited, because I see the possibilities. She's how still about, looking happy. How about another one? Well, we will need to add some more, and it will depend if we're gonna go, is she gonna jump off the top of the playground? Is she gonna bungee jump from the stairs? What other locations mm. around the school could we find that Barbie can stand on top of and then take a jump? A safe but fun jump. Should we take her outside? I think we should. Let's go. Hey Heather, do you think we should do a little bit of testing action before we bring Barbie outside for the real thing? Yes, let's test her jumping with one rubber band. And I happen to have a ruler. All right, we're going to test her Not jumping. How high? At what height from the Remember table? safe. I think safe is 50, 50 centimeters. Meters. Okay, let's go with half All a right. meter. So I'm gonna hold Barbie's uh, rubber band there with one finger. She's gonna stand right on the tip of Lydia's fingers. She's gonna go. See ya, Barbie. So that would've been good if she hadn't hit the ruler. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> was, was not, all right. That was exciting. Her hair hit the table, but not her head. Was that all right, Barbie? I think that one's a success. All right, so Barbie just jumped from a height of 50 centimeters using one rubber band. 
If we're about to take Barbie out to the stairs where it's probably three or four metres high, mm. I wonder how many rubber bands we're going to need to attach to her. And that's the exciting bit. That's when students go out to test as, they, as engineers would. I'm going to give her a few more. I think she wants <laughs> it to be very exciting. So we're back in the lab with Barbie and we saw there that it took 10 rubber bands for her to have a safe but exciting jump on the stairs. I wonder if your results had matched up with your predictions as ours had. Have fun with Barbie in your classroom.